John Englander is an oceanographer and expert on climate change and has written two books on the subject. He joins me in our Washington studio. So many questions for you, John, since you're the expert who has all the answers, I am sure <laughs> of it. So what is going on around the world? We have horrific fires, we have devastating floods, we have record heat. Why are we seeing this? And is climate change the reason for these extreme conditions? The planet's warmer. It's already one degree Celsius warmer than it was a century ago. We're trying to keep it to another degree Celsius, but I don't think we're gonna make that limit. It's gonna be even warmer. As you warm the planet, several things happen. The oceans evaporate, putting more moisture in the air. They come down as these heavy rains that we're getting. As you warm the timber, we've always known that forest fires happen when temperatures are warmer and the timber is drier. We're seeing that all over the world. I mean, this week we have floods from China. We have wildfires from California to Greece to Scandinavia with record temperatures. So when you're talking about climate change and global warming, first of all, is, the, is there a difference? Because we seem to use them interchangeably. Sure. Um, the planet's warmer one degree on average over the last century. We got away from the term global warming because there are times when things will be colder. In a warming planet, it seems counterintuitive, but as you warm the planet overall, you're still gonna get masses of cold air that come down and put extra snow in Washington, D.C. So it seemed counterintuitive, and it sounded like um, you know, that we could be a debunked if we said global warming. And so climate change or climate destabilization was thought to be a better term. But the truth is the planet is warming mm -hmm. as a global average. So both terms are valid. Um, let me ask you about something that our reporter Mark New said in California. He was on the front lines or near the front lines of those fires. He said these flames, these destructive fires are creating their own weather pattern. And in fact, some had seen lightning within the smoke clouds. I mean, how is that possible? Well, I'd never even heard of that phenomenon, but, but it's an example. We've warmed the temperature, I mean, to say it again, is one degree, and, we're and that's extraordinary. Global temperatures have been stable for 11,000 years, a period that scientists called the Holocene. We've now left that. We have warmed the planet enough. The Arctic ice is melting, of course. The glaciers from Tibet to Antarctica mm -hmm. to Greenland are melting. Uh, we're, it's an average warming, but that doesn't mean that some places won't be a little bit colder while the other places are sure. much warmer. And are humans to blame for the planet being warmer? And what are the implications of this? Do we just have too many people on Earth? Well, it's not so. It's perhaps could be attributed to people, but the thing that we, we correlate it mostly with is the greenhouse gas levels, and most particularly carbon dioxide, the carbon footprint or CO2 level. And we are now at 410 parts per million of carbon dioxide. We haven't had that level in Earth's atmosphere for 10 million years. The normal was 180 to 280. We're now at 410. So how worried are you about this? I'm very worried. It's, uh, it's very, um, it's scary. I mean, is, is, is the truth. Um, we are in uncharted territory. Again, in all of human civilization, going back hundreds of thousands of years, we've never had this condition. What is your message to people that say, climate change, what climate change? You know what, it's the whole thing, it's just a hoax. Well, they should look at their grandkids. Um, there's been climate change before. I like to think about the ice age cycles. The ice age cycles were a natural pattern that happened every 100,000 years. It was a natural cycle. We were at the warm spot and we should have been entering the cold phase for 80,000 years. That's not gonna happen anymore. We have warmed the planet. We can play games with this, we can make it political, we can look for self-interest and how to make the most money the quickest. But the truth is we have changed the, the atmosphere and the environment of the planet. And uh, we're seeing the effects now in the weather patterns today and week Just by week. Just take a week, look at around the world what's happening. All over. All right, John Englander, thank you. I thank can tell you. you're very passionate about this um, important topic and I can see why. Thank you so much. Glad to be with you.